Hey everybody, it's Angela, and I just wanted to share with you this little, it's kind of like a mini album, but not really. Um, it's just a little altered art thing, photo thing that I made. Um, I guess I'll just show it to you because it'll make more sense. I found this camera at a flea market, and I got it for, for three whole bucks, and he threw in some of the flash bulbs. And the reason I bought it was because this was actually the first camera that I ever had as a kid. And it was my um, grandparents' camera, my mom's parents, and when they got a new one, uh, my grandma gave me this one. And so I was probably about seven or eight years old when she gave it to me, and it was really cool. And it was kind of the precursor, it's a Polaroid Swinger, it's precursor to the Polaroid Instamatics, I think. And um, so in that sense, you had the, the roll of film in the back, and you took your picture, and then you opened this flap and you pulled the thing out, the picture out, and it was sandwiched, the picture was sandwich, sandwiched between the two um, pieces of film paper with chemicals in there and you waited it waited for it to develop and then you peeled the top layer you peeled the two photo layers apart and your photograph showed in the center and anyhow it was in black and white and so I saw this and it just reminded me of my childhood and so I dug through my photos when I got home and I found pictures that my grandparents had taken with this type of camera um, that I had, and then I had a few pictures of ones that I took after I got it. So, since this is just a decoration that's going to sit on a shelf, just a tchotchke, um, I made this little tiny scroll to go inside. And I just have a little tab of ribbon here to help get it out of the back of the, the camera. And I just started out, and I said, these are pictures taken on a Polaroid Swinger, and it was owned by my grandparents, um, approximately 1967. And then these are pictures that they took with that camera when they came back to Tulsa um, to visit my parents. There's my dad and my brother. There's my mom, dad, and brother. Picture of my mom. And I, I'm actually there. They don't know it, but... Um, my mom was pregnant at the time. She said she was really sick, and she didn't know why. Um, that was me. <laughs> and uh, Sorry, Mom. And so these were all pictures that they took, and these were, you know, before I was born. And then um, later when I came around, there's a few pictures of me and my brother um, that my grandparents took of us. So I was probably like, what do I, like three, four years old or so in there. And then they gave it to me, so that's all the ones I have that, from my grandparents. And then, then I talk about how they gave the camera to me, um, approximately 1974. And um, then my brother, he took my picture, that's me standing, my dad had one of those electric cars, those early electric cars. And um, then I took this picture of my brother in our backyard, and then of where we lived, and then of my mom's um, garden in the backyard. And then I put one of these. This is like the actual, um, the actual pull tab thing that you would yank it out of the camera with. One of them still had the tab, so I used the tab kind of as the end. And so I just, you know, I couldn't really do much to this. You know, like when you do a mini album, you can add all this flowers and pockets and tags. And but because I wanted this to roll up and fit in the back of the camera, I was like man, you know, I can't use, I can't use all my bling. And, um, so the only thing I did was I used these, some little photo corners here, and I used some little, um, I don't know if you can see it, some little scrolls and some of the kind of emptier portions of some of the photos. And I used them kind of throughout, and the photo corners throughout. And that was pretty much all that I did as far as decorating, because um, I was kind of limited by what I was doing. And then I printed it on, in order for it to be a little more durable, um, I had some of that National Geographic waterproof paper. 
Usually we use it to print out maps um, if we're going to be out hunting or out in the back country where it's raining. Um, but we don't use it very often. So I used, um, I think, three sheets or two sheets. And I printed them two up and um, then cut them out, cut the strips out. And then I just attached them with some red line tape on the back into a long scroll. And then I had wanted to, if it was a different type of camera, I thought it would be cool to like put this on the reel and then be able to like advance the pictures, you know, through onto the next reel and then, you know, that would be really cool if you could like read it inside the camera. But because this isn't a reel to reel, you, you pulled it out. Um, it didn't wind back up inside the camera because you yank the thing out for it to instantly develop. It didn't really have that feature, so I couldn't do that. Um, but I thought this was a really cute way to kind of preserve these memories and have them in here if someone were to get the camera later or whatever. Um, and it's just a neat little thing for me. It's just a little reminder and... Um, show my family and whatnot, and um, I don't know, I just saw the camera and it just brought back so many cool memories that I wanted to preserve them. So anyhow, I just thought I'd share with you what I was doing, and um, if you have any comments, please leave them at the bottom. Thanks for watching. Bye.